Yo, Vincent here. So, Cookie Run Kingdom getting new guild battles, and I'm excited for this. I haven't reacted or watched this yet, so we're gonna get to that right now. It'll be a reaction video, and then we're gonna go over the news that's in the game. It's gonna be like a blind react thing. And we'll overview. So, reaction and overview. End your pointless struggle. Our chances cookies yes! brought. Only together we'll find a solution. Avatar of Destiny? How is this gonna- Okay, so we're getting new guild battles. Is it gonna be three for- You pick which guild boss you wanna fight, or is it gonna be rotation? The Living Abyss, oh man. This one that eats your tanks. We gotta tighten this ship up. I don't see the light. I woke up, they tweeted this, and I'm like, oh god, I want milk cookie and rye cookie getting magic candies. Alright, let's see what we got here. My duty is to protect. Alright, so more more shield and more taunts. And silence? Wait. Watch closely, kiddo. No, I didn't. Yeah, there's a lot of big guns. Is that the best y'all got? Bring them on! Interesting. Oh, there's eight. Wait, eight? eight? What's going on? We gotta, we gotta go back and look at this. Hold on. It's now not in beta. Oh. All right, let's go back. Um, I shall fight the darkness. Let's check. Let's look at this real quick. I play it rough. My duty is to protect. All right. Oh, it's silence when he attacks. My no way. No, 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 no. No way. That's a unicorn. That's a unicorn. <laughs> That's a cream unicorn. You can have faith in my shield. So the shield just does. Watch closely, I, I don't know. It just blocks stuff. Is that the best y'all got? Bring them on! It looks like a lot more damage for Rai Cookie. It doesn't seem to be doing AOE, right? Bring them on! Bring on! Is that the best y'all got? Bring them on! Wait a minute. Is that the best y'all got? Yeah, okay, Espresso is the one doing the, the AoE damage there. You can have faith in my shield. Watch closely, okay. kiddo. Maybe they'll say more in the, the actual update thing. And then we got the gill window here. Right here, right here, right here, right here. So these are leveled and there's eight of them. You could eight, you could do the battle eight times a day or something. Oh, nice. I can't wait for this. This is dropping, I believe, on August 11th. Oh, man, that's when Tower of Fantasy drops. Maybe we'll, like, do a sneak peek of it, you know, kind of thing. Anyways, let's look at the announcements here. Uh, I'll turn off the music here. All right. There will be other fixes and adjustments to improve your kingdom experience as well. Hopefully, they add... The wind the screen where it has all the productions in one window and you just click on them from there instead of having to keep navigating to each one. <laughs> Alright, new guild battles. Two new boss battles have appeared. Protect Earth Bread with your fellow guildmates in the new guild battles. Battle guild battle seasons will now consist of rounds that last for a week. And seasons that consist of four rounds. Alright, so now they added seasons. The round will last six days plus one day for tallying. I mean, that's the usual stuff. Four rounds make a guild season. And once season is over, the trophy earned by guild during season will be reset. Okay, so they have another ranking on top of that, that ranking. Yo, yo, top 1% top on Holly Berry right now? Yeah. <laughs> to play guild battle, you need guild battle tickets. Oh, tickets now. Okay. Three guild battle tickets will be added every day. Uh, you can battle up. Each boss up to eight times per round. Oh, round, so it's per season. Okay. So three times eight is what they did. <laughs> hmm. You get no no eight per yeah, four four weeks, right? And then you do eight times per round. So and there's only three of them, so there's twenty-four total. So there might be times where, but it's per round, huh? So, okay, so you have three tickets, 
right? And you get to choose which one to fight throughout the week, but you only hit it eight times. And it's, so you can do it 24. So you're gonna have some where some days where you can't because you only get 21, right? So there's there's three battles which you cannot complete if you log in every day. So that's kind of discouraging, but at the same time it makes sense. So you get to have to pick and choose which one you want to target first more. Okay, okay. In order to participate in good battle, you need enough guild tickets and battle attempts. I don't know what this means, but we'll see. Guild battle rewards. So participation stuff, you still get them at the end of the battle. Um, when, if you defeat the guild boss, all the guild members will obtain the torches. I mean, that's like the same thing. Guild tier is based on the number of trophies you can obtain. Okay. You can check your guild tier. Okay, so that's the ranking stuff. Contribution based on contribution ranking in the beta version of the guild battles are removed. Oh, oh, so the 300 that if you're like top uh, in your guild, that they removed it. Instead, guild member that participated all 18 battles in one round. Wait, 18 battles. It's three. Okay, at least 18, I guess. <laughs> but you get three tickets a day. Oh, wait, it's six. Oh my god. I forgot this one day of tallying. So it's actually 18 battles. Okay, it makes sense. Um, we'll obtain 400 medals in the game mail or start of the next round. So you inst if you do all battle, you instantly just get it. So you don't have to do damage or anything. That's nice. So it's a lot more of a participation thing. So you have 18 ba Damn, that's even less than. So then there's 24 per round. And you're going to do 18 out of the 24. Not 21. I, I calculated wrong because I've got the day of tallying. I always forget about that. Uh, round rewards are delivered after tallying of each round. Okay. And after tallying the f fourth round, you receive season rewards along with the round rewards. Bonus. <laughs> Introducing guild medal shot. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay. So that's the medal part. I somehow missed it. That it actually metal instead of heroic torches and stuff. You get exchange for rare rewards. Um. They didn't say what's going to be on there specifically, but we'll see as it goes. It's only like two days. Additional guild battle improvement. You can now choose five decks instead of three. Nice. You can now continue guild battle. <gasps> wait a minute. No, wait, no. If you That means if you disconnect during the battle, you can continue it. Okay. I thought you mean you can kill the first level and then it'll move on to the second level. The five more seconds left until the guild battles end of the battle after you defeat the boss you okay they miss a Y here you can use this time to battle the boss of the next wait a minute oh it does continue so if you kill it and there's five seconds more you go on to the next boss yes next next level button will be available at the battle results screen so you don't waste attacks anymore thank you oh my god Please note that if you continue the uh, battle, the HP of your cookies carry over and cooldowns carry over. I mean, you don't waste attacks though. Through the battle log screen, you can see your guildmate battle rewards for that season. If a guild member in the middle of a battle you have participated in, a warning will pop up. Oh, thank you. That one's also good. I, I noticed that sometimes you attack at the same time and then they get hit. You can chip someone off. <laughs> and it's kind of like, oh. You enter a guild battle through the statue placed in the guild battle domain. Okay. Magic candies. All right, new treasures. So magic candy skills. Oh, they actually say the skills. Skill description. Stand in front line, causing aerial damage and taunt. So now I think now it does damage, forcing them to attack himself. While the skill is active, divine milk shield decreases incoming damage. I'm assuming that's fight to it or to the team. While the milk cookie is using his skill, he briefly becomes resistant to interrupting effects. Okay. At the end, Milk Cookie removes all debuffs and heals. Oh, that part is good though. That he blocked. So it's kind of like Fancier, except Fancier does damage based on the damage. This one heals based on the damage. Not bad. I mean, I still like Wild Berry more. Because it gives... Um, I don't know about this in decreased incoming damage. Is for him or the party? I think it's just for him because it isn't safe for the party. But it has Taunt. But Wildberry has stun and stuff, and then at the end it does damage based on how much damage you take. 
Two hits. Alright. Right click you. Shoot first if you don't want to be shot. Okay. Aim the pistols at with the lowest max HP. And then shoots around dealing great damage several times. The cookie focus is so high. The damage be the cookie will become resistant to interrupting effects. And the cookie's focus is so high. The cookie will become resistant. Is it talking about her? Right cookie herself? <laughs> The, the cookie attack speed ink okay it's talking about right it will increase greatly for a whole showdown duration enemies hit by regular attacks and skill attacks will be burned i actually interested in this because it looks like a lot of damage all right we're getting a new item here define aura enhance the skill of a cookie with the highest attack yo you can use this with um right cookie <laughs> crit and crit damage increase as well can be obtained through the treasure gotcha okay order sacred fork imbue the fork deal additional damage proportional to the cookies attack to with each of the regular skill attacks so it's like stacking on top of this skill over right here the amount of damage for boss is great oh this is good for bosses this is good for guild Oh man, we gotta have this in the Gilgacha, of course. Alright, improvements. Tree of Wishes rewards are oh, increasing the dailies gel. I mean, I don't like doing Tree of Wishes, but maybe it'll be more enticing because you get this. They're trying to balance it. I still hate Tree of Wishes, man. They ask for so much and... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Train rewards. Kingdom will no longer be obtained as well. Oh, okay. Uh, time jumper now available. Oh, time jumpers. Yes, thank you very much. Number of topping and reward increase, minimum of or oh, this one's good too. I th this is the more important one to be honest. Due to changing the reward, the chances of receiving will be adjusted. Didn't say upper buffer nerfed. The chances of receiving crystal reward remain the same. Okay, that that's fine. Changes will be applied to the new after the update. So if you want your e kingdom ESP now, do them now. <laughs> the amount of reward increase from Tree Harper. Okay, nice, nice. I don't have a coin deficit right now, but the minimum of caramel spike glasses and matte fragments also increased. That's nice, cause then my soda island has been like very slow for a while now. Max level increase for reproduction buildings. Oh, I yeah, I haven't done this yet. I think the only one I did was the smithy, and that's to get more axes. So eventually, I will do that. But that's nice, getting a little upgrade here for jam jammery sweet jam. Jelly Jam, Carpenter Shop, and uh, Diner. Extra rewards for leveling up production buildings. Once you finish upgrading production building, you will receive items as produced from the building as a reward. Oh, okay. So if you max it out, you get a bonus one-time thing, pretty much. All right? Yeah, okay. Is it just a one-time thing? I'm guessing it is. Uh, add convenient features in the guild system and limited edition decoration to guild decors. Convenient features, huh? In guild system. I'm kind of interested in what that is. Uh, on and off toggle for guild notifications. Oh, that's nice. But I want it on, right? You'll be notified if a guild member has entered the guild battle via guild chat. That's good. Guild chat isn't used as much. Like, usually people use Discord. You can now send a to guild mates. <gasps> I needed this. <laughs> Because I couldn't message him like, oh, are you still playing, etc. Blah blah blah. Add it. Oh, yo, guild the court. I know, I know, my mod Wicked will enjoy this very much. He was like, I want, we're gonna, I'm gonna edit the guild for Disney theme, and then found out that you can't do it. It was saddening. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction and uh, my own correction and my thought process during this. And um, I'll probably be streaming. I know Tower Fantasy is dropping, but I'll probably be streaming at least like a brief moment during the stream and some future streams. And maybe I'll have some videos for like the new guild system that's probably going to drop. I'll, I'll probably do some coverage on that. And with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and later days.